good morning children this is the third video of english literature class 6 and today i'll explain the third chapter and that is a turkish judge and this story is a turkish folk tale about the turkish caliph the story starts with the city of baghdad which flourished under caliph whose name was harun al rashid he wanted to see himself that how his people fred and by disguised himself there he saw an old man who was sitting beside the road side and the old man wanted help from someone so caliph decided to help that old man he asked the old man where he was going and the old man replied that he was going to basra and both of them ride on the horse and they went to basra when they reached the town of basra caliph said that old man as you have reached your destination now you can get down but instead of getting down from the horse the old man answered rudely that the horse belongs to him and caliph was so shocked that he said to the old man you are such an ungrateful man i helped you and now you are claiming that this horse belongs to you then caliph said that if this horse belongs to you you have to prove it as they both were strangers in basra now caliph was in a very difficult situation that if he forced the man off the horse the old man would cry or a mob would gather and turn against him but on the other hand caliph also thought that if he would give him 10 gold coins then the old man would let him ride away but then he would be cheating to other people in the same way so finally he decided that if he want justice then they have to go to kadi of basra and ask him to settle the case next day they went to the place where kadi was holding his court when they went to settle their case there was another two more cases in front of kadi the first case was of the oil merchant and the potter and the second case was of the writer and the tailor so to begin with the first case which was of an oil merchant and a potter the potter held a piece of gold coin which he claimed that it belongs to him but the oil merchant said that the coin belongs to him after listening kadi asked them is there any witness who can prove it but they said no they don't have any witness after that kadi asked them to leave the coin with him and told them to return the coat next day now comes the second case which was of the writer and the tailor so he asked them that what was the problem then the writer said that this morning when he was out someone stole his book of learning but now the tailor is saying that the book belongs to him so after listening to their problem kadi asked them also that is there any witness who can prove it and they said no we don't have any witness so kadi asked them to leave the book of learning with him and told them to return the coat next day the last case was of the old man and caliph and kadi called them and asked that what was the problem then caliph said as i am a traveler from a distant land 
This old man asked me help and taking pity on him, I helped him and brought him with me to Basra. But when I asked him to get down as as I told him that you have reached your destination, then this old man is refusing and now he claims that this horse belongs to him. So, to them also Caddy asked that, is there any witness who can prove it? Then this old man said, and he says that, I have cared for this horse since he was a colt, and if that horse is taken from me, then how will I live? And after listening to their problem, Carrie asked them to leave the horse with him and told them to return the coat next day. So on the next day, all the three cases were there in front of Caddy and all of them were there in the court for justice. As soon as the Caddy entered the room, he ordered the oil merchant and the porter to come before him and Caddy handed the gold coin. So the oil merchant took his gold coin and he went home to the oil merchant and said that this coin belongs to you. Take it and go from here. Next, Caddy called the writer and the tailor before him. And he said to the writer that this book of learning belongs to you. Take your book and go home. Then Caddy turned to the porter and said to him, As you have kept what did not belong to you, and for that he was punished. So the writer took his book and he went home. After that, the tailor was punished and Caddy told the tailor to ensure that he pays the writer five gold points for the trouble he gave to the writer. Finally, the caliph and the old man were called before the caddy. And then caddy addressed to the old man that why you repaid the generosity of a stranger with ingratitude, which means that this man have helped you and in return you are blaming him that this horse belongs to you. And for that, the old man was also punished. And Caddy said to the Caliph that, I know that this horse belongs to you. Take your horse and continue on your way. So now the Caliph was very much amazed at the justice given by the Caddy. Caliph thanked him, but... He also wanted to know that how he gave justice to everyone. So Caleb went to Caddy and asked him that how without evidence and without witness you gave such accurate and correct judgment. So Caddy said to Caleb that all the cases were very simple. To begin with the first case of an oil merchant and a potter was then Caddy smiled and answered Caleb that how he had solved the problem of the oil merchant and the potter. He says that as you know that the oil merchant had said that he had carried that piece of gold coin for many years. So I kept that coin into the glass of clean water and there was a tiny drops of oil came up to the surface. Then it was proved 
beyond doubt that the coin belonged to the oil merchant so this way caddy solved the problem of the oil merchant and the potter now caleb asked to caddy that how he have solved the next case which was of the writer and the tailor then he said on looking closely at the book he found that the pages most used were those on which the duties of writers and scholars were written so he came to know that the book of learning belonged to the writer after that caleb asked caddy that how you have solved my problem and how could you tell that the horse was rightfully mine then caddy said last night when i kept your horse in my stable so caddy said to the caleb that this morning he opened the stable door and stood behind a bale of hay and both you and the old man would have to pass the stable on your way to the court and he saw that when the old man passed the horse never looked up but when you passed the horse stretched out its head and neighed as horses do only when a loved master approaches and listening to caddy's judgment caleb said that your wisdom is indeed beyond compare at last caleb revealed his true identity and said that he is harun al rashid and by taking the right judgment he made caddy the grand caddy of all baghdad so this was the explanation of this chapter i hope children you all have understood this chapter take care and thank you